SQ401. Boom out. A new rotator. Slow down, Dad. It's all tangled up. Pull. Get snarled. Keep them both tight, young blood. A rookie operator. It's fighting the brakes right now. Pulls his weight. It's like every nod is against you out here. And Gary and Colin. That snowbank is all that's holding this thing up at the moment. Hang in the balance. You don't even want to breathe on this thing wrong, and it's going over. Traffic's been moving really good tonight. It's the end of a calm night for the highways of Toronto. Well, that's a nice drive. And winds seem to be getting stronger out here. But on the QEW west of the city, morning is bringing a shift in the conditions. Weather changes so quickly, especially by the lakes. A high-pressure system unleashes gusts of over 70 kilometers an hour. And Constable Aaron McMillan is on a mission. We're right on Lake Ontario. And we're going to go see how windy the Skyway Bridge is. You can feel it getting windier as we go up. 150,000 drivers a day depend on the Burlington Skyway. But towering 200 feet above the lake, it can be high risk in high winds. It gets up to 100 kilometer winds. Very dangerous. Wind warnings can get to a point that we actually have to shut the bridge down. Just a few years ago, wind speed built too quickly to shut the Skyway in time. What the hell? As the sun starts to rise. We have very strong wind gusts developing around 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. So does the speed of the wind. The high will be plus two, but the windshield minus 14. My goodness. Uh, it's brutal. The wind is just nuts. Ministry operators are watching, poised for a closure. Just before noon, a sudden gust overwhelms one driver, forcing a narrow escape for another. Two one to site two, QEW Fort Erie bound on the Burlington Skyway at the top. We have a tractor trailer rollover. Heavy op Chris Baker answers the call. We just got a call for an overturned tractor trailer on the Burlington Skyway. Apparently, it's right on top of the bridge. Chris joined Burlington-based JKM Towing just a few months ago. But as a 12-year recovery veteran, he knows the Skyway well. For an empty transport truck, a high bridge like that is worst nightmare. Essentially, you're driving a 53-foot wind sail at that point. Westbound drivers are already backing up into Oakville. Oh, boy, traffic's crazy. Hopefully we get there as quick as possible because minute by minute the traffic backlog is growing. Oh my god. Woo. Unbelievable wind. It's some of the worst wind that JKM owner Kevin Moore has ever experienced. My truck weighs 72,000, and it was rocking it with the gust coming over the edge of the wall of the Skyway Bridge. Oh, crazy. I was a good hat. All of a sudden, gusts of wind and blowing the hats off of people and going gloves away. I don't know. It's gone. With the wind accelerating, there's no time to chase a lost hat. Oh, 
we're gonna separate the tractor from the trailer and then we're probably gonna flop it onto its wheels to get it out of here. While Chris rigs to remove the tractor, Kevin assesses the bigger obstacle, the trailer. Tempting. That's why I flipped. If we try to flip the trailer up here with the gusts that we're having, it's just gonna flip right back over. I've done small jobs on the Skyway, such as live lane breakdowns, but this is definitely the biggest recovery I've had to do on the Skyway. The wind gusts on the Skyway is pretty bad, and then my understanding is the next couple hours we're going to be even worse. Crews are ready to shut down the bridge as soon as they can clear the last of the traffic. Requesting some traffic control. 10-4, it's going to cross traffic back here. We've got this tractor trailer blocking three and a half out of four lanes. Behind that, it's just a sea of traffic. Any idea how much more traffic there is? Let me okay. go and make sure, and then I'll come back. Okay. He's just going to make a U-turn, make sure all the traffic's gone. The minute that the tractor trailer flipped over, the OPP started to close down both directions of the Skyway Bridge. Always close here. Instead, we continue with that crash closing off the bridge involving a tractor trailer rollover. Can you just let that seal go? Let's see how it goes both ways to take nothing. Be advised, skyway's closed. Skyway's closed. Skyway's closed. Everybody's clear. The wind is just crazy, eh? Did you lose that? Oh, that was me. There you go. Thank you. I figured it was in Scarborough by now. Now that the bridge is clear, Kevin and Chris can get moving. Usually when I'm up there, my goal is to get back down as quick as possible. Oh, there we go, tornado. Woo, blustery. Their first step, flipping and towing the tractor. The wind is just too much for them to upright the trailer in place. We try to flip it, it's just gonna flop back down again. Or it'll take our trucks with it because it's like a big kite. With the gusts on the Skyway Bridge, we had to drag the trailer down to the bottom. They'll pull it on its side to a more sheltered spot. Okay, it's time to go. more than a kilometer away. I'm happy to be getting off this bridge. We'll see what the plan is now. Conditions are better here, but still far from good. It's actually pretty windy here. The main concern is, is as we lift it up, the wind off of the bay here, any gust. Okay. So they'll use both wreckers to upright. My line. Without lifting too high off the ground. Ready? Just want to make sure once it starts going towards being on its wheels, it keeps going that way. That went awesome. That went really good. Now that it's sitting back on its wheels and nothing's at risk anymore, big sigh of relief. 
Next Tuesday, we hook up and we get out of here and they can open the Skyway Bridge. Uh, actually, you know what? In this case, I don't think they're going to be opening the Skyway Bridge until the wind dies down. It's on a bad corner there at Long Beach. 400 kilometers east, John Campbell is heading out to a big job on a dangerous curve of the 401. We got a 53-footer uh, on its side, blocking the whole uh, fast lane. It is a big emergency being on a blind corner. You got to get this uh, sorted out. Traffic's gonna get bad this afternoon. I'm excited, Mr. Cool. Over the summer, John made a big move, buying his first rotator from one-time competitor, Derek Kane. Derek just got to a point where he wants to enjoy life a little bit more, and we made a deal. Storage. Yep. John's new rotator will be one of the few available in the area stepping up to the next level of the business. Pressure gauge on both sides so you can see what's going on. Nice. It's a beast. I mean, it's 70,000 pounds of steel. People rely on us, and I had to step it up or step aside, and I'm not ready to step aside. Today is the new truck's first big test. Oh, boy. Quite the situation, eh? Way to start your Sunday morning. The semi, carrying a full load of mixed cargo, rolled in a tight curve, slamming into the median barrier. We're going to have to offload it because it's full from front to back. The trailer was compromised. It skidded down the road at least a quarter mile. So it wasn't an option to flip that thing over loaded. OK, guys, you ready? John's son, Johnny Marsh, is ready to move fast. We're going to use both trucks, flop it down onto its wheels, yeah. tow the tractor away, and then we can get ready to start doing the trailer offload. So if you get a chain ready, snatch right block, block down yeah. to the leg. We're nervous right off the hop because of how dangerous this corner is here. If people aren't paying attention, they're not going to see us. So we got to get this done quick. Into the chain, the snatch block into the leg. Pull down on John will soon have to make a tough decision. We got to get this open, and we got to find the lesser of the evils to get it done. And close the last remaining lane. I don't have much choice. There's no room to work. We have to close most of the highway, which is really not something we like to do. I don't want somebody driving by and getting hit. Oh, please. Oh. All right, get ready, guys. Okay. okay. We're going to pull it over. On the westbound 401, the Campbell's crew is racing through the first stage of their high-pressure job. That was all hands on deck. It's like go, go, go. With traffic still squeezing past, their first move is flipping up the tractor. Just watch yourselves. Watch yourself and you come right over here. Perfect. There she is. Got your truck. We're going to hook this tractor up and uh, pull it off to the shoulder out of the way. OK, nice and easy, brother. We got a bunch of boxes, all kinds of fabric products. And nothing's on skids, so she's 100% hand bomb. Shutting down the 401 for that length of time for the offload and everything, that's not an option. So operations manager Dylan Driscoll has called in some extra hands. We don't want this dragging on all day. We got to get this road back open. With the backlog building, John needs to have a plan in action the minute the trailer is empty. After we close the back doors, yeah. 
put the telehandler underneath this corner, lift it up, run a strap through, clip it over while you're on the front of it with red, just kind of controlling it. Yeah, OK. Easy peasy. And we're almost empty here in the trailer, so we can get ready. Don't say easy peasy. That's when things go sideways. Well, we want it to go sideways <laughs> onto its wheels. Traffic's going to get pretty heavy, so quicker we get this clip back on its wheels, the better. We're messing up a lot of people's days here. A hundred kilometers farther east, drivers through Cornwall are getting a rare break from winter. But the beautiful day has delivered an ugly wreck. Got a call early this morning for a tractor trailer that rolled over. It's all ripped apart. It looks like the load came right through the roof, so it could be quite the job. It is a mess. And as Duncan Cooper rolls up, it's even worse than reported. See, that's what they call a radar. Now he's got a good one right after all the snow leaves and birds are singing, the sun's shining, and here we are. Don't understand it, but it happens. The eastbound semi lost control, barreling through the median and across the westbound lane before crashing over in the ditch. Trailer looks good from this side. Can hardly wait to see the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, what a mess. The roof is out of this trailer. The sidewall's out of this trailer. Most of the load is laying in the roof, and it's in a swamp, too. Looks like a full load of medical supplies, like masks and I don't know what else. There's no way to lift it upright with the cargo in place. We have some friends here helping, so it's got all hands on deck deal to get this unloaded. All right. So the goal is to load everything from there into there. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a while. Watch it, don't hit you in the head, boys. Get out of there. Heavy op Barry Wagner joins in the offload. Take it easy, eh, Mike, you old fool? Just as the final member of the crew rolls up. Oh, my God. We only have a job here. Mike McPhee is still recovering from breaking both ankles just over a year ago. He always says, call me. If you need me, call me. And I was like, OK. But I still have to be careful what he's doing. Well, oh, Arrow, stay there, Mike. Don't go on that slippery Yeah, okay, that's super slick. As long as I don't move and stay still, it'll be OK. Got to really watch with him because he'll keep on working and, and to the point where he, he can't even stand anymore. And this offload won't be quick. It's going to be a hard offload. This is going to take time. It's going to be a late night, boy. It's going to be a late night. Back near Brockville, the trailer is empty and the Campbell crew is prepping for a rapid fire upright. Go ahead, down. Young Johnny's wrecker will hold the front of the trailer while his father lifts and flips it. Flip her over, and uh, it'll be up on its wheels in a few minutes. Westbound traffic has been choked into one lane for almost two hours. Now, John needs the entire highway. I don't like flipping stuff on the highway with vehicles going by. In case something goes wrong, the last thing I need is a cable to snap, a chain to break. You never know. It happens. OK, I'll have the cop back. 
Well, we'll shut her down for you. Let the good times roll. As soon as you close the highway, you've got, I don't know how many people, their lives are on hold. So now the pressure's on, it's tense. It's time for the new rotator to take center stage. Pull! Pull! You gotta pull on it. Pull it out, it's getting tangled. But any new truck comes with a learning curve. The cable is folded over on itself, but you have to pull all that out to get that fold out of there. Keep pulling! Keep pulling. Pull! You gotta get that knot out of it or we're in trouble. I'm thinking, if anything can go wrong, it's gonna go wrong when you're in a big hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Dad! It's all tangled up. Is that closed the road in here, Westbound? Well, Westbound Road. It's all tangled up. On the 401 near Brockville, westbound traffic is fully stopped. I gotta get that knot out of it or we're in trouble. While John Campbell's recovery has hit a major snag. That rotator is still a new ball game to me. I'm just still learning. I've never had one before. We let a little too much tension off, and uh, you, got a, you got a little horseshoe in the cable. I got a little fast with the winch compared to Bentley up on top of the trailer pulling out the cable. So I turned my winch into spaghetti. Whoa! 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 You're pulling it back in. It couldn't have happened at a worse time. OK, what do you want me to do? Go out. How much more? Whoa. Now you're good. That cost me five minutes of the highway being shut down that I didn't really need. OK, ready? With their winch line finally untangled. Johnny, start, then you. The crew needs to finish the job with no further delay. They're putting us under the pinch. Like, we got to get this done right away and book it up out of there. Pull harder, Johnny. I'm going as quick as I can. OK. Pull. All we got to do is hook her up and get this highway open. Good day for Johnny Campbells. All right, perfect. Let's get this bitch open. It was a minor stumble, but a major success for the new rotator and its proud owner. That's a pretty big purchase for my little company. I mean, I stuck my neck out pretty far, but so far it's earning its keep, and that's all I can ask. Back at the eastern end of the highway, Cornwall's offload is hitting traffic hard. Cops are complaining about the uh, traffic. Wow, so much of it. Hopefully this will speed it up some. The loader should help speed up the operation. Throw it in the bucket. I can't move too well. I gotta stay still. But Mike needs to slow down. If you let Mikey go, Mikey will work harder than he has to all the time. Mikey, don't be bending down so much. I don't want you moving around too much, so you're going to drive this? I'll drive that. Cornwall towing wheelchair. <laughs> I decided to cage him in the skid steer. He can operate it. At least then I know he won't hurt himself. If the shoe fits, wear it. So <laughs> it fit me perfect. Just watch you don't run in the... Oh, yeah. They've got the offload on track, but the distraction is proving too much for some passing drivers. Stop your phone! Holding your phone up, Unfortunately, some people don't have enough forward thinking to realize that it is a bad idea to stop and take a picture. A bad idea that could result in a rear-end collision 
and pile up. Look at this guy. Camera. People are going to get hurt and get killed because they're not paying attention. To my understanding, there was a secondary accident somewhere, too. We want to get out of here before dark, before there's any more accidents. Let's get this job done, get this highway open, because this is how fast it can happen. This is the reality of it. OK, good enough. Let's stand it up. It's very compromised. We've got the inside of the trailer strapped. we got all the broken stuff floor loaded. So hopefully it won't tear the wall out as it comes over. Bow flex, brother. OK, good enough. The trailer is rigged up and ready for the upright if it can survive the process. That's good right there, buddy. Yeah, pull it across. And there's a late addition to the crew, Duncan's son, James. How you doing, James? We're just about done. You show up? A little late to the show. I was out on, out on a job, right? James joined the company as an apprentice over the summer. Oh, you know, I got to train these young fellas to work, you know. They're taking over the towing business. Mike immediately took the 19-year-old under his wing. James and Mike, you know, you got the young pup and the old dog there, and they're going to try and teach each other a little something. OK, you ready? Yep. Right on up. I'm the third generation working in the towing business, and I want to carry on the legacy. Practice, but he'll come. He'll make a good tow truck driver. I am in a very good place to learn. There's a lot of uh, knowledge that can be passed down to me. That's it. It's time for me to slow down. And at least I know somebody's replacing me. Take your time and try to remember everything. Every time you go out, hey, Mike, you grab something. Take your time, but hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the rookie will get to play in the big league. OK, listen, guys, come here. So James showed up right at the right time, so I decided to let him run the big racker. This is one of his first times running it, and this way here he can get his feet wet. Barry's going to stand right beside you, and you're going to pull it over on my command. Yeah, yeah. OK? I wasn't expecting to get to run the truck. It's the first time, I was a little nervous. We're going to help with the back, and I'll be the guy in the middle. You're not going to get this kind of training in the yard. This is real life. This is the best way to train them. We're going to just roll them over this way. Fellows is going to grab the back. OK. Pull on the trailer. You ready? It's go time. OK, you go ahead. Just start bringing them both in. Yeah, so I'll lead with the front, and then I'll follow with the back. Give her a little more on the back. He's just going to follow us. It's a real learning curve for him. Lots of people running around, and, you know, he doesn't want to mess up. Yeah, see, you got him. Yeah, just bring it right over now. Both of them right in. I got a good pull on him. Yeah. Keep her coming, yeah. She's going to flop there shortly. She's on the tipping point. We're doing good. Got a little more on the trailer. She's ours. Yep. Timber! That's awesome. He's learning because he's scared of the big truck. So we're going to teach him. And a big job like this is a confidence builder. Pulling the semi upright was just the first step. Now James needs to help move it onto the road. OK, we'll start rigging onto the front end, OK? Oh, she's heavy. Oh, I'm having a grand old time. We're going to hook the tractor, and we're going to try and pull him out of the ditch. Hopefully, everything can go as planned. Bring it right over the top, young blood. There you go, right there. There, there. OK, yeah, you go ahead. You want to start turning that nose around? You're pulling a little bit, you know, your leg will slide, eh? Yep. Keep them both tight, young blood. Jay rolling. As it's coming up the hill, the wheels aren't turning on the tractor. No, I, I don't think so, Barry. It's not working very well, is it? No. It's fighting the brakes right now. Why are those locking up? I know we pinned all the brakes. Oh, no, not on this one. What? No, not on the one. 
must have pulled through. The caging bolt used to release the air brakes has pulled into the brake chamber. It'll put the tractor brakes on. Not enough to actually stop it, but enough to start creating drag. That's bad news. It's like every odd is against you out here. It's fighting the brakes right now. Yeah, why the are those locking up? On the 401 just east of Cornwall. Things pulled through, eh? That's bad news. A single caging bolt has put the brakes on Duncan's entire recovery. The brakes aren't released, so it's going to make it difficult. The pin's full? And the brakes are just the first problem. Oh, let's have a quick walk. This is twisted. Yeah, both sides are open. It is open a bit. The fifth wheel plate, which connects the tractor and trailer, is bent and barely holding on. If it does come off and swing down into the ditch, still it's going to pivot on the bogies right into the back of my truck. Let's just move your truck. That way, if the trailer comes off, nothing swings and hits it. All right, let's get those two winch lines back in there. James will need to fight the locked brakes to pull the tractor, hoping it doesn't wrench free of the trailer. The yellow's going in. Before you pull, let Billy move. All right. It's a lot of weight on the rookie's shoulders. You all set? OK. All Give her some. Money. Yep. Both lines, James. Yeah. yeah. Trying to steer it a little bit. Trying to finesse it, eh? Oh, she's starting to move yeah. now. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming pretty good. You convinced it. Look, it's listening. I intimidated it. Uh, lots going on here. It's not as straightforward like we're pulling a little car out of the ditch. Keep going. Okay, whoa! But he held his composure and he got it done. Okay, leave it tight and uh, TJ's gonna steer it out as we drive ahead, okay? Yeah, okay. He's into it. So your, your finesse will give you a little more control. Hey, daughter, get that red tight, too. There she goes! Baby, you're doing a great job there, young fella. Victory! <laughs> this is a big job, and uh, I was pretty proud of James there. He's going to trip and fall a couple of times. This is all part of growing and learning and whatnot, but I want to try and show him how it's done. Yodi. Yodi. OK, good. I want him not just to do it my way. I want him to work with the other guys. He gets great input, great training all the way around. James, I'll see you at supper tonight. Yep, see you then. It's just the right time for some new blood on Duncan's crew. Good job, Mikey. Yeah. Mikey's taking a step back, so this is very important. We want to get the young fella trained up. He's coming along good, James. He'll turn out to be a good talk talk driver in time. To the next one. James is uh, hes the next man up. You did a good job. <laughs> yes, we did, eh? A new day Be careful. brings a fresh blast of winter to the highways east of Sarnia, and Gary Vanden Heuvel is on the move. Just heading out this morning with Colin. We have a uh, tractor trailer that's gone off the road. Wheels are up on this truck, has not rolled over yet, so it's in a really uh, precarious position. So these ones tend to be a little tougher than uh, your standard pull out of the ditch. Wow. I'm impressed it didn't just right over. 
You're lucky. Lucky, lucky. The truck, loaded with groceries, slipped off the road in whiteout conditions. Somehow, it didn't roll. I have no idea what's holding this thing up right now. It should be on its side. Man, oh man. And you got 30,000 on? Okay. If this thing tips over, it writes the load off, and, and that's the last thing we want to do. So we're going to upright this, get it on the road, and hopefully we can get him on his way to deliver to the uh, store. Crazy, crazy how much of a lean that is. Like, I can touch the top of the trailer on this one. Wow. You don't even want to breathe on this thing wrong, and it's going over. No kidding. Right now, the load, the trailer, everything's intact, and we want to keep it that way. I want to get working on this. snowbank is all that's holding this thing up at the moment and it's melting time for a shovel on a back road north of the 402 gary and colin are facing a loaded semi ready to topple we've got this truck it's actually in a pretty bad situation here it's just about ready to fall over this trailer goes over and that food spills out in any way it's no good there we go. This is tougher than a rollover because a rollover, it's gone over, the damage is done. Now we're trying to prevent damage to the customer's truck and trailer and the loads. So there's a lot at risk on this one. This one has some real serious potential to go bad if, if this isn't done right. So uh, this one is a, a call and an eye job. Today, Gary will be leaning hard on his senior operator. Colin's reached a level where, you know, he's really good at what he's doing. I can concentrate on what I'm doing here. Colin's back there doing exactly what he needs to do. I don't have to worry about it. That wind is just absolutely insane today. Holy crap. Um, where is the edge of the road? Right about here. We're dealing with a fairly tight road here today, so we got to get the truck in the exact right position because once we start getting this coming up, we're not going to be able to move. We're going to run a high line over top of this trailer to help keep it from rolling, and then we're going to put a low line with the drag winch off the rotator. That's good. And that's going to give us the pull that we need to get this thing sliding sideways. But to rig his high line, Colin will need to climb up 
onto the trailer and risk upsetting the balance. I used to want my extra weight up there being the thing that tips this thing over. Push it up. Okay. Got it? I think so. Oh, I caught on the edge. Bad spot. <laughs> Not a fan of heights. <laughs> That's a win. The line is in place, but there's an added concern as they prep for the pull. Look how close it is to that gas line. We're close to something here. We're concerned about it. We just got to make sure that trailer doesn't slide any further into the ditch as we're pulling it out. We really have to be careful when we're working around this, because if we break a gas line, we're in for a world of hurt here. That's good there. Colin will slowly upright and pull the trailer sideways away from the line while Gary winches the tractor onto the road. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Running two winches, Colin will need a delicate balance on his controls. I'm kind of spreading the load out between the low line and the high line. I could actually tear through the side of the trailer, rip it wide open. So I really have to be very mindful of which winch has got more power on it. Okay, that's all you want to put on that upper strap, okay? Okay. Let me kick that front end around. Okay, hopefully my truck will sit still. There we go. Gotta get her moving forward now. Come on. There we go. Up and out. I'm gonna start pulling sideways with the drag winch. I'm gonna just keep feathering the controls as my dad's pulling the front of this thing up. We're just gonna kind of walk it together, just keep things nice and even. There we go, now we're popping out. That's what we're talking about. All good? Yeah. That's it. Nice job, Carl. No problem, thank you. Colin's done a great job of just doing that balancing act between sliding the trailer sideways and holding it up. Now it's my turn. I've got to get the rest of this tractor up onto the roadway, and if that goes well, then he's on his way shortly. But first, Gary has to make some room on the road. I'm just going to have to reposition, get a little further up onto the road so that I can take this whole unit up and out of the ditch all the way. Slide in with my truck. That's ugly. Damn. Slide in with my truck. On a narrow county route northeast of Sarnia, Gary has run out of road. Damn. <laughs> Unfortunately, got a little too close to the shoulder, and uh, it is certainly slippery. I understand why the truck went in on the other end. I may have to winch myself back. Oh, your uh, front end's sliding out. I've gotten myself a little too close to the ditch, just like he did, and I can't get up and out. Gary wants to use the semi 
as an anchor to pull his wrecker backwards. I'm going to winch myself back. You're going to winch yourself? We can do it from here. Turn the button that says control. Yeah, it's on. OK. This truck's actually got a really nice feature. It can release the brakes from the controls, so I can hold the release and winch myself backwards. If it doesn't come out, it's all your fault. Yeah? All right. <laughs> He's got too many trucks. He forgets what all the buttons do. It's fun to come out on a job like this. Colin's got his views of how he wants to do it. He just looks at things a little different than I do, and, and they're working out. Every day, uh, it's a learning experience for both of us. Working father, son, those roles are reversing, and it's kind of neat. I can just back up if need be now. OK, yeah, I'll watch for you. Now they can finish the job with Gary up front and Colin watching the back. I just got to keep a line tight on the back here and just watch, make sure we aren't going to roll over still. Looks good. Oh, she's free. Went really well. That came up very, very nice. Yeah, and not a lick of damage on the trailer, which is nice. Yep. This truck's going to be able to get down to the grocery store, get offloaded, and all this food and stuff is going to be on the shelves by, you know, mid-afternoon, which is a good feeling. But that's not the only good feeling for Colin's father. Good job. Very good. Thank you. You too. You know, I congratulated on him, said, did a good job. And he turned it on me. I wasn't ready for that. He said, yeah, you did too, Dad. I'd never had that before. Uh, that was a new moment for me and kind of something new in my career. And now my son's telling me, hey, Dad, you did a good job. And uh, that was pretty cool, pretty special. Next time on Heavy Rescue 401. Let's go, let's go. Sonny's plan. No! Unravels. Completely separated from the trailer, my God. A violent crash. This don't make it very nice. All the structure's gone. Tests the crew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And a new team member. We're here, baby! Makes the cut.